Hey there, it's Matt, the techno evangelist. In this video, I want to show you a component of a workflow that I use most days in the process of making videos. I'll talk about the whole workflow in another video, but part of it requires that I mount the SSD attached to my ATEM Mini to the MacBook Pro where I edit my videos. To get this drive mounted automatically, I'm using a few different components. First, there is Cloud Mounter. Cloud Mounter is a really cool tool that comes in the Set App subscription. It allows you to mount drives to your Mac that are normally available on S3 or Google Drive or OneDrive or FTP, WebDAV, and, and a bunch of others. The next key component is Hammerspoon. I've talked about Hammerspoon in a previous video, but essentially it's a Mac automation platform that leverages Lua. Lua is a language that was made to be an embedded language, often in games, and it's super easy to learn. Check out this page on the Learn X and Y Minutes site to see how easy it can be. This script started with a prompt to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is great at making yourself, you know, 30 to 50% better and got me started in the right direction. And then I was able to take that and run the rest away with it. So let's get into the script. At the heart of the script is a timer. I need to check every 10 seconds or so to see if the ATEM is available online. So every 10 seconds, it fires the ping command. It just sends a single packet, and then the result gets sent to this test ping function. That looks at the second parameter to see if the status is either received packet or send packet failed. If it received a packet, and this is a new status, then mount the SSD. Otherwise, don't mount it. And then set the status to the new status. So mount makes a call to cloud mounter. This is one of the areas where ChatGPT failed me. It kept wanting to use curl FTPFS, which is a Linux command, but Hammerspoon is for the Mac and that's where I am. So I started looking for alternatives. The mount FTP command would work, but it will only mount a read-only volume. That might be fine, but I was already using Cloud Mounter and I knew that it mounted a read-write volume. There's almost no info on the Cloud Mounter website about its ability to script other than one mention in the release notes about AppleScript being added. So I loaded up the script editor utility that comes with the Mac, then opened the library and added Cloud Bouncer to the library. Quickly, I could see that mount is an available verb, so I could use that. Now, I hate AppleScript. It is easily the hardest language to learn because there are no standards. Every app implements it differently, and that makes it super frustrating. But with a bit of trial and error, I got something that would call my existing config for the ATEM drive that would mount and unmount it. So I was able to call hs.osascript.applescript with the string tell application cloud mounter to mount connection ATEM to mount the drive and then use unmount to unmount the drive. Note that AppleScript wants strings to be wrapped in double quotes. So the AppleScript needs to be in single quotes or you need to escape the strings. Finally, I pop up an alert to show that the drive is mounted. Within about 10 seconds of turning the ATEM on, the drive will appear on my Mac. And then within about 90 seconds of turning the ATEM off, it disappears. I'll talk about the rest of this workflow in a different video coming soon. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.